Mm. Well, let's see if Dad has the crystal. Dad, what happened to Mom's lumen crystal? It's in a safe place. Can I have it? No. But it's mine. Meddling with magic killed your mother. I don't want that to happen to you. Once you're crowned king, I can't stop you from doing anything- Queen, I can't stop you from doing anything you want, but for now you are still a child. That's rude. Still agility and faith. All right. Where are we here? Okay. Um, let's go to divination and dance. You practice curtsying, standing, and walking across the floor in a graceful manner. Cool. You learn that the, you learn that the gods cannot be forced to divulge information about the future, and that the most powerful omens are those which arrive unexpectedly. The castle seems quieter with Charlotte and Emery and Zara and their parents gone. It's certainly not empty, though. It seems like we get more servants every day. I was so worried about Charlotte after that snake bit her, but her mother said she's okay, so I guess it turned out all right. Maybe she is a guardian angel. And I don't know if you noticed, but I failed a poison test, so I don't know what that means. All right, well, let's go back and talk to Juliana. My father says I can't have the crystal until I'm queen, so we'll just have to wait. There may not be time to wait. The world is full of dangers and you will need the powers of a lumen to fight them. You can't begin training until you have bonded with your crystal. Well, what else am I supposed to do about it? The crystal is probably held under guard in the royal treasury. You are the princess. You should be able to find a way inside. Otherwise, we might have to take drastic action. Drastic action. What do you mean by drastic action? Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Try to reach the crystal. If you can't, come and talk to me again. More agility and faith. Okay, we'll keep those on. Dance and divination seems like a good idea. <clears throat> you, you practice different partner dance positions. Oh, we practice walking on the arm of a partner and following their cues to pause and turn while keeping our eyes closed. You practice different partner dance positions, closely held at a distance and non-contact, and the appropriate hand placement for each. Dropping your favorite place is bad. plate is bad luck, a statue spontaneously shattering is a bad omen. You read about well-known sides of bad fortune, wells turning sour, dry lightning, strange fish caught in nets, malformed babies being born, and so on. One of the maids approaches for your attention. My lady, couriers have arrived from the Duke of Sedna. We have a Duke of Sedna? Oh jeez, I'm failing all the tests. No, my lady, the Duchy of Sedna is in Talassi. They have brought you a letter and a gift. Condolences on the death of, deep regret, best wishes. Oh, what a beautiful necklace. Something sparkly will make me feel better. Oh boy. All right, well, let's see if we can get that necklace. You try to talk your way past the guards, but despite eye flashing, eye fluttering, foot stomping, and outright thrusts, they won't budge. Humph. All right, oh, I'm feeling willful. Okay, what changed? Intrigue and military. That sounds fun, let's do that. All right. Intrigue, internal affairs, military, strategy. Done. Until you have children of your own, your maternal uncle, the Duke of Merva, is next in line for the crown, and after him would be his daughter, your cousin Charlotte. You study the strengths and weaknesses of different weapons in battle formations. Cool. As you're walking, you spot a familiar figure in the palace gardens. It's the Duchess of Herschel. Maybe I should go and say hello. You notice that seated beside her is a woman in the robes of a priestess. They are very close together, their hands gently touching as they speak. Looks like she's busy. You turn and walk in a different direction so as not to disturb them. At that moment, you notice something unusual. It looks like someone just left the palace grounds by going over the hedge. Is that a servant, a thief, or an assassin? Let's climb up and look over the hedge. Oh, I failed the climbing test. You look around for something to climb, but you're not sure if the nearby trees can support your weight. You run over to a statue and try and pull yourself up on the pedestal, but it's too awkward to get your feet in place. By this time, whoever you saw is probably gone anyway. <coughs> hmm. Well, that didn't work. I don't really feel like going to court. I don't want to become lonely and afraid by exploring the castle. I don't feel like getting depressed. I could become less afraid. Willful and angry. Sure, why not? You sneak a peek at some of the luckless peasants held in the dungeons, petty thieves and troublemakers, now suffering in the dark. They're obviously bad people, but seeing them so miserable still feels unfair. There must be a better way. Oh, I think I'm still feeling willful. Yep, all right, let's uh, continue on with our internal affairs and strategy. <coughs> 
Your maternal uncle's wife, the Countess Nix, claims kinship to the old Mervalon and originally asked your mother for the ti for title to the duchy. However, no one could verify her lineage. As a compromise, your mother created her brother, Duke of Merva. The last Duke of Mead was the older half-brother of the current Duchess. His reign was brief and highly scandalous. He defied tradition to pledge himself as the life mate of the old Duke of Ursel, then broke that off only a year later. He, returned, he retired into seclusion and died still unwed. You study the effects of battle stress on troops and how morale can turn the tide of combat. You study military recruitment and the importance of training and motivation in making soldiers who can trust and depend on each other. I think I might stay willful and angry. As you're walking up the stairs, a maid comes running down holding a towering pile of linen. You swiftly step aside and let her pass. Oh, cool. Pass the reflex test. Mm, willful and angry. What else do I have? I can get angry. I can play with toys. I can go outside. Or I can sneak out. Let's go back to the dungeons. Okay, so this is the same. All right. And we've reached 30. So the one thing that I will kind of pull from previous experience is... When you get to level 25 on everything, you unlock the ability to push everything forward to 100. So I'm actually going to stop um, doing these, and I'm going to switch to get them all to at least 25, and then I'm just going to power them all to 100, I think. So we'll go to Foreign Intelligence and Naval Strategy. Because <clears throat> otherwise it caps out at 50. The current Duke of Sedna is 26 years old and unmarried. He might be considered a good marriage prospect for you if you desire stronger ties with the domain of Talas. You learn that the sea is not something you hold, it is something you travel across. Naval strategy ensures your free travel while denying it to your enemies. All right. There is a man here to see you. He wishes crowdfunding for a project of his. Remember, the treasury is not unlimited. If you choose to invest, you will have less money to work with later. Your Royal Highness, I have a plan to print books using metal letters which can be moved and reused. I need to borrow 875 Lassie to assemble the metal in a factory to mold and cast the type. With this system, we will be able to create new books in a fraction of the time it takes now and make copies to send all over the world. I don't know much about factories or trade. Would that really be worthwhile? So if I had had production and trade at a high enough number, I possibly could have done this. We are not interested yet, so. All right, um, let's sneak out. You sneak out of the castle to have a little fun. You enjoy your freedom, but your father won't like it if he finds out. Well, that's just too bad. All right, let's keep doing foreign intelligence and naval strategy. They're not quite at 25. All right, the domain of Sangia across the sea to the west has been steadily increasing in size and now controls a wide range of coastline as well as most of the nav navigable waters. The political disruption in Tombula in recent years has caused a disruption in their chocolate production, which is to the benefit of Nova, particularly the Duchy of Kigal. Kigal? Kigal, I think. You study different kinds of ships, their names, designs, and the number of crew needed for each. You study different kinds of ships, their speed, maneuverability, and standard complement of weapons. Very cool. Your Highness, my sympathy for your sympathies for your loss. Even after all these years, I sometimes forget that my own mother will never be coming back. Thank you. However, I must call for your aid. The Ixianite occupation of the country of Imbrium has gone on for far has gone on for too long. Now is the time to push back. I know there's been some problems with Ixion, but I don't know the details. I guess they're occupying Southern Marie. We have plenty of troops, so it shouldn't be that hard to drive them out, if we want to make a fight of it. Um, yeah, let's go to battle. Well, if they want to fight, then we'll give it to them. I will arrange for troops to be sent to your aid. Thank you, Your Highness. Your Highness, if I may ask, that necklace you're wearing, where did it come from? It was a gift from the Duke of Sedna. Then you have made arrangements with him. Um, what sort of arrangements? Your Highness, that is a courting gift. The man wishes to gain your hand in marriage. Oh, I didn't realize. Really? Okay, that's a thing. Um, I'm gonna sneak out again. Oh, phone, why must you buzz? Okay, don't care. All right, skills, we're still intriguing military, so let's go to ciphering and logistics. Seems like a good idea. You practice reading words whose letters have been arranged in reversed order. The simplest of transpositions, which anyone literate can puzzle through if they try. But sometimes to hide useful, in but sometimes useful to hide information. I think that's supposed to be in plain sight. Yeah, in plain sight. Very cool. All right, you learn about the types and amounts of food required for an army on the march and how long they will remain edible. That's probably very handy to know. 
You receive a report on the outcome of the battle against the, Ixion the Ixionites. You succeeded in driving them out of Marie, but it cost you about three quarters of a battalion of soldiers and a great deal of material. You lost 882 soldiers. The Duke of Marie will be happy, but we could have done better. All right, let's go talk to my dad. Dad, if this trouble with Ixion started years ago, why didn't Mum fix it? Your mother told the Duke of Marie and the Duchess of Hellas that it was their problem and they should sort it out themselves. Oh, should I have done that? The situation is different now. Everyone on all sides wishes to see what, what sort of queen is coming to the throne. Everyone is judging me. 